For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark, good folk. Be it known, Batilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me, the swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah. Uh. It's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? That sounds fair. Listen, might look in on you if I'm in the area. No promises, though. Naturally, I ask for nothing more. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with the dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a cold black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Leon? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Fine. Settled. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. Witch runs through the town.
I owe you my life, unknown knight. How are you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scallywags sought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many and I... I failed. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Fine. Lead the way. Here we are. Is there some way I might help you? All right. What do you have? Vineyard's glory days seem like a thing of the past. It seemed better times true. For bandits are not our only problem. Enormous yellow parasites, their ever-growing plague we also must contend with. Maid Matilda tries her best, but when folk fear to go out and work, what is she to do? Thanks. See you later. Master Witcher, have you any news? You were right. Vermentino's problems didn't come out of nowhere. Someone was behind them. What do you mean, someone? Liam did this! Oh, no, no, no! I will not listen to this slander! Wait, wait. A third party is responsible for Vermentino's problems? Have you any proof? No. Then you must find some. These are weighty accusations. They will not stand on hearsay. Right. I'll come by once I've got something solid. This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here. It certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success. Brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. Take care now. They say a great deal about you, Witcher, and whisper. Blow it 
itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Interesting. This note plus what I found earlier. Some of the parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Bet I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Something like this. Need to incinerate them before they spew spores and spread. I have proves Count Crespi's behind the sabotage at both vineyards. Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Master Witchet, have you any news? One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. One question remains. What's to become of Coronata and Vermentino? Got caught up in the investigation. Still got problems there, but I'll clear them up. Excellent. Then we shall await news in the matter. Preferably good news. for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bank did less kidnapped me. 
in hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. <laughs> Should you need any herbs, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Lead the way, right behind you. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. Thanks. See you later. Thought I'd hear. Master Witcher, have you any news? Solved your problems. Coronada and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. Under the circumstances, it is my pleasure to announce that the title to the Belgard Vineyard will officially be signed over to the new consortium the two of you shall form. Truly? I cannot believe it! We've done it! Oh, thank you, Witcher. I've no idea how to repay you. Could start with my reward. Yes! Well deserved, I dare say. Here. <clears throat> Far be it from me to insist, but I have a feeling a professional's aid might yet be useful to you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come with me. It is high time you saw Belgard. I'm not sure I liked his tone. Come with us, Witcher. Something tells me we shall have work for you, yeah? All right, let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing. We'll gladly accept your help. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Hold this up if I want to get rid of the Endragas.
I thank you, sir. Were it not for you, well, those bandits were not pulling pranks. I could pound some new steel for you in gratitude, but I must first return to my workshop in Belgard. Let's go. No time to lose. I thank you again for your aid. Care to glance at my wares? What were you doing in the Caraberta woods? And how'd you wind up a prisoner of those bandits? Ever since the Count died, I've not had the resources to buy raw materials, meaning no new barrel hoops, no tools. So I mustered a few lads and went into the woods to scavenge. Great deal of scrap to be had in those elfin ruins. If you don't mind digging, folks say the place is haunted, but I've no fear of elfin ghosts. A rational man. Rational or superstitious, it matters not. The point is, I did not see a single ghost. Yet a answer, yes, that we ran into. Though it seems I've more luck than sense, because you came along to save me. See ya. Tended to Belgard's problems, Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here, your pay. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Witcher, a word! I swear on my honor! Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Est Est. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs>